what is going on everybody today we have here a 2010 Ford Fusion and we're going to be replacing the rear wheel bearing so the first thing that we need to do we have to remove all these bolts we have to remove this cap and we have to remove the brake caliper and to remove the brake caliper we need a 13 millimeter socket and on the bottom we're gonna get a long socket a deep socket with an extension so um, once you break them loose take the bolts out and then you should be able to remove the brake caliper you probably are going to need a pry bar or a screwdriver so you can uh, get it out because it's, uh, in this case it was kind of hard so you can just push it with a screwdriver or a pry bar just like I'm doing it now and then you can move it out of the way and then we're gonna need uh, Torx T30 and then we can remove the brake disc now we need to remove this cap that um, behind this cap you're gonna find your nut that is holding the wheel bearing and as soon as you get it off you're gonna see it right away and then what you need to do is uh, unbent uh, that uh, kind of like a lock that way the nut doesn't move and then you're gonna need a 35 millimeter socket uh, to remove your nut and it should be able to come right off if not just just tag it a little bit or tap it with a hammer and it should be able to come right off and then what I'm going to do I'm gonna sand it I'm gonna clean it this is the new bearing that's the part number and I'm gonna put it right on there and if it doesn't go I tap it with a bigger socket and it went right in and then what you need to do start the knot by hand and then make sure you uh, do the lock that way it doesn't move put your cap back on just tap it uh, make sure you don't hit uh, your studs put your brake disc back on and make sure that the hole align with your uh, Torx and put the caliper back on and you should be good to go right guys well there you have it thanks a lot for watching and see you